while ago we did a presentation on duplex loads. Now I still get comments on that video from people saying, I thought a duplex load meant two projectiles. And yes, that is also a duplex load, but the kind of duplex load that we are dealing with is using smokeless powder and black powder. Now I noticed some new people that might sound scary and that's because it does have the potential to be, but done correctly, there's not much to worry about. Now, typically the way a duplex load is assembled is you use a small amount of smokeless powder in the cartridge first, followed by a larger amount of black powder and the projectile on top. And the smokeless powder charge should not exceed 15% of the black powder charge. At least that's what I hear. Now, we did this in 303 British, and that goes back a few videos before where we assembled some black powder 303 British trying to duplicate the velocity of the original black powder 303 British round, which used a 200 grain projectile between 70 and 71.5 grains of powder and moved about 1850 feet per second. Now, so far, everything that I have tried, I have not been able to get to that 1,850 feet per second goal. So we decided to do the duplex load in a hope that we would pick up some velocity. When we decided to try the duplex load, the closest we got was 45 grains of 2F Swiss using 9.3 grains of 57.44, and that got us to 17.68. So basically, not much better than 71.5 grains of honest-to-goodness black powder. But one thing I've learned as far as duplex loads go is when you do use a duplex load, when you do have a little bit of smokeless powder, it burns remarkably cleaner. In fact, it barely looks like a black powder cartridge at all. If it wasn't for the smoke that you get out of the barrel, I'm not sure many people would know that it is a black powder cartridge. It burns very, very clean. But in that video, I had a lot of people saying, what do you think would happen if you mixed the powders together or reversed them where you use the black powder first and the smokeless on top? So that's what we did here. Now, I assembled three different batches here. I did... The 45 grains of 3F Swiss with 9.3 grains of accurate 5744 mixed together. Now, I just weighed out the charges and I mixed them together as best I could and poured them in there and seeded the projectile. I should mention that all of these tests I've done with 303, whether it's black powder or duplex, are all 180 grain jacketed soft point spear projectiles. But I didn't have, uh, I didn't have very high hopes for the mixed batch because... I didn't feel like I could get it incorporated evenly enough. Now, I also did one batch with 45 grains of 3S Swiss and 5 grains of Bullseye, and that was also mixed. And I used Bullseye in particular because I had a lot of people saying that they thought the slow-burning rifle powder, like 5744, uh, in particular in that batch I was using Reloader 7, which I understand is not the slowest burning rifle powder, but either way, it's a lot slower than bullseye. But they seem to think that the slow burning rifle powder was already being moved down the barrel. Black powder was already burning and being shoved down the barrel before the smokeless really had a chance to make up some pressure. So I went with a fast burning powder, which is bullseye, and I think that qualified. And then the last one was the reversed load, which is 45 grains of 3F black powder with the 9.3 grains of accurate 5744 on top. So, here's how it went. Okay, so here's some more 303 British duplex loads. These are 45 grains of 3F Swiss with 9.3 grains of 5744, but it is mixed. The powder is mixed together. Powders are mixed together. All right, Willard. There we go. All right.
1724 again. Come on, damn you. Seventeen twenty six. Seventeen sixty two. You're not punching holes through it. It's not punch. Okay. Dude. Nope. You are not punching holes through it. Seventeen forty one. Seventeen nineteen. I don't know what was with that uh, low shot, the the first one. You had a high one too. Nice. Well, that seemed to perform okay. Okay, so this is. Duplex Load 303 British, but instead of being mixed, this has the black powder first and the smokeless on top. And it's the same charge, 45, 45 grains? 45 grains of 3F Swiss with 9.3 grains of accurate 5744. All right. Oh, well, there it goes. Uh, uh, it, you... flashed, it flashed a number and then went zero. I didn't uh. catch what it was. Eighteen? Eighteen sixty-three. Ooh. Seventeen forty-one. Okay. Huh. 18. 1844. Nice. Huh. This is getting interesting. Wow, interesting. Yeah. Eighteen nineteen. How's the uh, recoil? More, I can yeah. feel it. Yeah. Eighteen oh seven. Really interesting. That is interesting. Nice. Nice. Wow, that Did made you a, hear that? that made a big difference. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. That's very interesting. Huh. Wow. So that... mixed we basically get the same, but when we when we put it on quote upside down, now we're getting an extra 120 feet per second. Let's see what the average is. Because we're the... I, I think we're we, we're probably close to that 1850 goal. Yeah. Maybe a little bit under. We're yeah. We're, I, I would say we're probably somewhere in the 1830s. Think so? Yeah. Let's see. Now look at these primers here. Those look pretty flattened off, even for being a mostly black powder load. So that definitely is making more pressure and more velocity. Mm -hmm. Now this batch is five grains of bullseye mixed with 45 grains of 3F Swiss. Now usually I would stand there and tell everyone that, but I incorrectly stated that it was a quote standard duplex load, which I'm not even really sure what that means, but just so we're all on the same page, 
this batch, the powders are mixed together. Oh, here we go. Seventeen oh two. Sixteen fifty six. Sixteen sixty five. Sixteen eighty six. 1634. Yeah. I think I missed that entirely. I think you did. I think that one too. Yeah. Sixteen seventy-four, I think. I'll uh, we'll put one more through it. 1634 is what that reads. Okay. 1634 again. Come on, give me one more number. 1675. Well, that was a little disappointing. Yeah, well. With the shit upside down, it worked better than the faster burning stuff. It worked much Way better. better. Yeah. Much better. So first up is the bullseye mix load. That averaged 1669 with a max spread of 68 and delivers 1113 foot-pounds of energy, which uh, is basically the same as our 71.5 grains of 1F Swiss straight black powder. Basically the same. That was 1646. So it did work out pretty decent. It seemed to shoot pretty well. The next was 45 grains of 3F Swiss with 9.3 grains of 5744 mixed together. That averaged 1734 with a max spread of 43. Now that pretty much is the same as our 71.5 grains of 4F balsa, straight black powder, which averaged 1756. But the interesting one was the upside down load, which was the black powder first and 9.3 grains of 5744 on top of that. That averaged 1833 with a max spread of 56 and delivered 1,343 foot-pounds of energy. Now, you can see how I calculate these twice here. When I have a low number like that 1785, a lot of times I'll either scrap it entirely or I'll just calculate it twice just to see what it comes out with. But either way, much closer to that 1850 goal. In fact, I think I'm going to say that's probably as good as we're going to get. Also, I should mention, and I've had dozens of people mention this too, that the rifle that would have used the original Black Powder 303 was a long Lee Metford, Lee Metford rifle, which I think the barrel is uh, another six inches longer than the rifle that we're using, the short magazine Lin Lee Enfield. Now, I've had a lot of people tell me that, well, that rifle would have more velocity because the barrel's longer. And yeah, I would agree, but I don't know if it's enough to pick up 100 feet per second. But when we're only 25 or 30 feet per second off of our goal, I could see the six inch extra long barrel picking up that. So I think this qualifies to finally put all of this to rest. So I won't make you guys watch any more Black Powder 303 British stuff. I think we'll call this over with for now. So when we compare the upside down load to the standard duplex load, where the smokeless would be first and the black powder on top of it, we went from 1768 with a max spread of 93, which is a very wide spread, to 1833. So that's pretty decent. And I think, I'm going to speculate here, the reason why we're able to pick up some velocity, noticeable velocity, is because that smokeless gets compressed 
and is put right down below that bottleneck of that cartridge. And I think that's where the extra velocity is coming from. If I had to take a guess, maybe a little bit more compression right on top of it, directly on top of the powder, and right at that bottleneck of the cartridge. That's where I think the extra velocity comes from. So for the people that wanted to know if you reverse them or mix them, does it make, it, does it make a difference? Apparently it does. Not so much when you mix them. That's almost identical. Well, you know, maybe not identical, but pretty damn close within 20 or 30 feet per second. But when you flip them around, that changed things significantly. So again, I think this is enough uh, Black Powder 303 stuff. Uh, that pretty much got us to our goal of 1850. We'll just have to round up uh, 25 feet per second and call it a day. So... As usual, folks, if you thought this video didn't suck, do me a favor and hit the like button and consider subscribing. And if you did think it sucked, go make your own damn video.